something appears in between. You can call it God, you can call it the spirit, you can call it love, whatever it is, something appears. And in that appearance between you and someone else, you feel this deep connection, deep love, deep attraction with the person. And when it's mutual, then they feel the same thing. And then you can say, I'm in love with them. Because both people recognize, both people notice this energy in between. And of course, since we've been brainwashed and we've been, project, we've been programmed to project it on the other person, so in this projection, I'm projecting that this woman, this girl is the one, this object. I'm projecting it on an object. So when she leaves me and she says, you know, for whatever reason, she's, she's not feeling it anymore. She met someone else or she got tired of me or whatever happens, you know? The person you're in love with, they dump you, they leave. They don't want you anymore. So what happens is we crash. We go through a deep heartbreak. We're heartbroken. And that also is something we've been programmed to believe because it's not real. And it's not real because you didn't really fall in love with the person. You didn't fall in love with the meat, okay? It wasn't this person you fell in love with. What happened was this person, for whatever cosmic reason, at that certain moment in your life, was the, a part of the chemistry, it was a chemical reaction or alchemy of God that needed to be in that moment in your life that the two start seeing each other and then the real thing appears in the middle. So it triggers this love it triggers this presence that really is deep inside yourself. Because remember, there's only one relationship and that is to the self. So another person, when you meet someone and you fall in love with them, you didn't really, you're not really falling in love with the meat. You're not falling in love with their body or their face. You, f you are falling in love with love. You are going back into the essence of the presence of the love that has always been with you and is always with you. So when the meat leaves, for someone who's awakened, they don't go through a heartbreak. They don't fall apart. Their life doesn't end there. Because they were, they never really projected it on the meat. They didn't project it on this guy or this girl. Now the girl is gone. I lost love. No, I have discovered love here within myself. I can never lose it. It's impossible. Because I never gained it. It was never somewhere I got it and now I lose it. It's always been here. I am the source of it. It comes from me. It's always here. So in that recognition, you come to this freedom. Now, I'm not saying you're really in love with someone and they leave and you're like a robot 
and you don't feel anything, of course, you miss their physical presence naturally because we're not robots, we're human beings. You can miss their physical presence, but you're not going to be destroyed and go through major depression or wanting to commit suicide or feeling your life is over because you lost her or you lost him. Because down deep, you know that the presence is here. And the more you become aware of it, the more you develop this quality inside yourself. And the more, the less you get fooled by a romantic relationship based on projecting it on them. That doesn't mean, don't take me wrong. It doesn't mean that you're gonna, you connect with someone and you don't go for it and you don't feel for him and you're not happy to see him or wanting to be with them. Okay. I'm not talking about becoming a robot. I'm talking about awareness you don't fall asleep because you can no longer project this love on a body on a meat you start to recognize it within yourself you understand what i'm saying yeah does it make any sense i know it's a little bit you know this is deep but, and it's not something super easy, like intellectually you may understand it or what I'm saying, but it's, it takes time to implement this because culturally as a race for thousands of years, we've been programmed to project it outside of ourselves. So this is not something that I say it to you and you hear what I say and then in five minutes, it's done. It takes time to really implement it within yourself because you have to recognize yourself, recognize that you're the one you're looking for. The real love is here. Anything from the outside is reflecting that back to you. Anybody you meet in the outer world is pointing the finger back at that place within yourself. And when you go through a heartbreak, it's kind of a blessing because it forces you to dig deep within. So you start to see it differently and that helps you to liberate. Because liberation is the ultimate goal, to become free, freedom. Inner freedom. That's what we're interested in, to become free internally. I, it would be interesting if one day, of course, it's hypothetical and the utopia or wishful thinking is that we taught these things to our children from young age. And we could educate them correctly. Help them understand It would be interesting. 